host, James Sabalski for EA Sports. Welcome to game number three of what has already been a great series. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. stoppage in play lots of time left in this period the game is still scoreless back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone Luff's got the puck a chance in front Shot. how did he stop that one love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here the puck's in the low slot you want to take away time you want to take space Goaltender does it, makes the save. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Oh, hit on the play! The Griffins will play it in their own end. Taken along the wall by Johansson. Moves it to Tepley. Tries to get the puck to Rafferty. Takes up the ball. Sends it out in front. And that chance is blocked. Rockford's looking to break out. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. The Ice Hogs win the draw. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Edmondson's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. The Griffins take it along the wall. And the puck stopper tags his man. And they score on the delayed penalty. They make it count. Well, they do make it count, James. Now it will negate their power play opportunity. But hey, when you capitalize, you don't get the power play. The Griffins get one quickly here, and they're up early in the first. That's so important when you're the away team that you don't come out flat. You get your lines into it right away, and they're rewarded with a goal in that first quarter of the period. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Edmondson stick handling in his own zone. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Gains the zone from the right. Grand Rapids has the puck in the corner. And tosses it to Wilson. Rockford's in now. And there's the puck in the corner. And now it's grabbed by Strand. Oh, and he lays out to block that, and that'll earn some respect amongst his peers. Denied by the ball, but the puck hops along. The Griffins have it now. Grand Rapids plays it along the wing. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Grand Rapids continues to lead by a pair of goals. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. A chance in front! He scores! What a goal! The 
I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Rockford's come to life here as they finally got a goal of their own. Well, they certainly have, and they're showing that offensive production, the ability to get to the net, and they've countered, gotten within one. And they win that neutral zone draw. Along the half wall with the puck. The Ice Hogs have it now. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And he shuts the door on them. Grand Rapids has the puck. Shot denied with the club by Stubber. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Ice Hogs win the draw here in their own end. Great stop by Stutter. Moves it quickly over to Rafferty. Oh, he just misses. What an opportunity there. Well, just as a big word, James, because when you have an opportunity like this from a primetime scoring area, you have to finish it off. He doesn't even hit the net. There's a shot. Close save. Hutchinson's going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this when he's physically engaging, keeping himself in it. Wipens won the draw. Takes a shot. Stopped by Hutchinson. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Snapper from the slot. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, the coach is going to like this goal. It's all about the effort and habits, not turning away from the net after the original shot, James, but continuing to track it and able to deposit in the net. Still lots of time left in the period. We are all tied up in this one. Rockford's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. And that's intercepted. Oh, did he ever rock him in the open ice? Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. And he takes the pass. Shot from the point. And that's broken up. The Ice Hogs moving ahead. Dumps it in. Scrum along the wall. Aston Reese plays it now. Feeds it over to Didier. Rockford's got it in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Paddock. There's a great save and an excellent chance there. Takes it across the blue line. Works it across to Didier. Denied by the goaltender. Maintains control of the puck. Rockford's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed. Slides the puck over to Gettinger. And that's knocked away. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a short pass to Cini. And not much on that one. And a smart hits up play to put that away by Kaiser. Koopman's got it along the wing. Denies him with the save. Picks up the puck in his own end. Right up the gut, here they go. Textbook play check by Allen. Big time shot block there. Stephen's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. The Ice Hogs gain possession. They score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. James, this is just an absolute clinic and body position how to roll off your coverage, and it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets his stick available and he executes. The Ice Hog sees the moment and grab that all-important go-ahead goal up by one here in the back half of the first. Well, this is an earned lead, James, is that they've been first on the clock, they've been quick to it, they dominated in terms of the shots on net, and they found the back of the net. Now they can play with a different era of confidence and hopefully ride out the first and continue to hold the lead. Zone. 
the group and scoop it up along the boards. Grand Rapids moves it quickly along the wing. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Big time defensive play. Rockford's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks. They've had great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. The Ice Hogs carry it along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Strand. Oh, my goodness, it's stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Takes it from the right side. Puck picked up by Tepley. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And they'll dump it in. Knocked away in the offensive zone. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. Grand Rapids sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. The Griffins have it against the wall. Quick feed to Gettinger. Oh, what a stop by Stopper. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Cates is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. Kept in at the line as that's blocked. Yeah, it's a tough one for the PK unit. You got it on your stick. You got to find a way to clear. Instead, now you're... Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send you a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. The Griffins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Grand Rapids looks to break out in their own end. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. The Griffins have the puck now. Denies him! That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And that's knocked away by Allen. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our Shoot to Win contest where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from center ice to try and win an exciting prize. in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Hutchinson's been outstanding in the first period, James, and really the only reason this game is close. This is exactly why you build your team from the goaltending position out. And he slides it quickly to Cini. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, and he misses on a great A+. Plus. They cut it on that rush. Sends it across. Disappointing result as they can't complete the rush. In close! Oh, wow! Another great stop! I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. The Ice Hogs lead here in the second period, and they have been the more active team offensively. Rockford's won the faceoff deep in their own end. The Ice Hogs gain the zone. Moves it to the middle! Defensive hits up play to pick it off. Directed over to Bergman. And that's poked away by Kaiser. Scooped up along the wall by Lipen. Moves into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes the puck along the boards. 
Hutchinson's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Centering feed! And that's stopped! Sends a pass over. Oh, what another quick stop! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding. Made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. He was totally locked in on that play. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Handles it again. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Allen. Nice zone entry on the left side. On the attack along the boards. Grand Rapids will play it from behind the net. Over the line they come. Takes a shot. Big time glove save. The Ice Hogs have had a lot of jump in their steps since the drop of the puck in this one, and they lead it here in this second period. Nice job tying up his opponent. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. The pass in front. Takes the block. Great reach with the poke check. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. What pressure here in the offensive end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Picked off in the open ice. Takes a lot but still hangs on. The Griffins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Rockford's got a hold of it against the wall. Through center. Takes a shot. And that's off target as it hits a body. Here he is shot in front. And that misses. Picked up along the wall by Kindock. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so no time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Grand Rapids has it against the half wall. The Ice Hogs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. And that's knocked away. The Ice Hogs going to work on offense. Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. Rockford's lead will not change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right spots on the ice, but you don't have any puck luck, and that was evident there as it hit the post and out. Fires it with the stop. A point blank. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Rockford's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Tepley's got it against the boards. Moves it to Lycan. Quick shot. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career. Playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Ice Hogs are now up by two here in the back half of the second, and they are really taking a squeeze on this game tonight. Yeah, there's so much motion. You're seeing their movement, in particular in the offensive zone, where they are just manhandling their opponent in terms of possession time. Puck grab by Strand. He takes a moment to backtrack and maintains possession. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. Grand Rapids has it in the open ice. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. 
Well, you can see him shaking his head and arguing with the official, James, but they're not changing their mind. This is the penalty. Grand Rapids is set to go back to work on the power play. On the power play so far, they've been real tight to the net, James. They've got to find a way to go low to high and open up that right ice from the point. That opportunity is rejected. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Now a quick pass to Del Mastro. From the right side and up the middle. And he slides it quickly to Koopman. Moves it to the middle. into the attacking zone for the right. Feeds the puck over. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat him away. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. A tremendous job by the PK units, James, to get out there and show hard work. This is exactly what it takes to kill a penalty, and they did an excellent job. The Ice Hogs have a decided edge in the shot department and also in the score as well here in the second. Big time save by Stalker! When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. More than half the frame has been played here. 4-2 is the score. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Aston Reese setting up against the wall. And that goes off course off the body. Denies that opportunity. Grabbed along the board by Allen. Pass to Strand. He carries the puck up along the wing. Dumps it in. The Griffins gain possession along the wall. Strong defensive effort. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Turns it away. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. The Ice Hogs have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Shine's got the puck along the wing. And he takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Scrum along the boards. Looks to set up at the point now. And that carries off a stick. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Sorella. The Ice Hogs take it across the line. But the eyes of he got out of it. And he takes the dish. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Taken by Cates. Here they are on the attack. Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Hutchinson. Sends the pass over. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Oh, what a stop on the play. Getting into the later stages of this period. Rockford's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Takes the feed. Rockford's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Kinda. Pushes it across to Gettinger. Quick pass to Bowen. Oh, sensational stop with the stick by Hutchinson. Takes the feed. Rockford's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Cini. There's a pass in front. Misses. Rockford's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second.
win it in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Grand Rapids gains a hold of possession. Here they come up along the wing. Grabs possession of the puck. And he hangs on to the puck. Poked away at center by Edmondson. Grand Rapids will play the puck from the corner. Stones him in front. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. And they'll start with possession. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Tepley's got it in the defensive end. Takes the feed at the point. Huge stop by Hutchinson. Takes the feed up ahead. And now it's grabbed by Johansson. Quick feed to Luck. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Rockford's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. The Griffins win the faceoff. Here's a shot. Glove save. Takes possession right off the draw. Rockford's got it in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to Blocked in traffic. Grand Rapids has possession of it now. Rockford's got control of the puck. to establish themselves as a playoff performer while the rookie an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. And that's what you call taking advantage of a costly turn over just recognizing where the goaltender is and sliding that puck right inside the post. That's a nice finish. The Ice Hogs probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Tates. Ralston swooping in on the attack. Grand Rapids gains a hold of it. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. The Ice Hogs offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Hootman's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Ice Hogs played along the wing. Spectacular save on the play. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle. Shoulder to shoulder and just laid it on thick. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. 
loose. Hoopman's crossed the line and gained the zone. The Griffins have it now. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Handles the pass. Reaches out and uses the stick. Hutchinson's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Fans being treated to an awful lot of lamp lighting tonight. It's 5-2. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that one's turned aside. Gets it over to Hiroshi. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Quick pass to Templey. Grabs the puck. Slides the pass over to Lipen. Great pressure with the stick. And there's the save on the play. The Griffins take it along the wing. Rockford's got possession of the puck. Great pass off the boards. Takes a puck but hangs on to the puck. The Ice Hogs gain control of it. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The Ice Hogs continue to lead big here in this third period. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Hooks it away here in the neutral zone. The Griffins gain control of the puck. Feeds it to Johansson. Puts it on that. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Steps in with the block. Oh, he stops him with the block. Great reflexes there. Here in the back half of this period, Rockford's got a 5-2 lead. The Ice Hogs win the draw on their own end. The Griffins have it against the wall. And that's blocked in traffic. Picked up along the boards by Allen. Poked away in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Sorella. Shot with the stop. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. The Ice Hogs have shown no signs of stopping putting pucks on net, and they lead it here in this third. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Shine. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Great poke check on the reach. Quick pass across to Rafferty. Here's a pass down low. Back at the point, they set it up. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. They dump it in, and the D's going to change it up here. Quick pass over to Shine. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Oh, what a stick save! You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Moves it to Strad. Up the puck. Pass across to Rafferty. Now he takes it over the line. The Griffins are in transition. Cops up possession of the puck. Goose's taking it from his own end. They've got numbers here. Feeds it over on the attack. Great reach by Cini. And that caroms off a body in the lane. And the puck banks off the glove. Gettinger's picking up steam. Oh, the boards in the glass rattled there on that hit. Not just rattled, James. It is clearly broken in the cleanup crew. They've got some work to do. Rockford's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Rockford's got a hold of the puck. Takes the puck. Center and feed. And he denies that great opportunity there. Oh, what a save of the... And his goaltender's not going to like that one as he scores, putting it into his own net. Well, you don't 
see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. Continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Rockford's been on a roll offensively tonight. Lots of chances, and they lead it late in this third. Grand Rapids has it in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Big play inside the defensive zone. Grabs it in his own end. Moves it quickly over to Lipen. Grand Rapids takes hold of the puck. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Takes that pass back at the point. Quick shot! Gets in front of it. Lays into the body. Rockford's got the puck in the defensive end. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Nearing the final minute of the third. Looks to make a play over to Didier. Here's a shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Oh, turns it aside once again. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. The Ice Hogs offense has paid off in dividends tonight. No shortage of scoring chances, and they have capitalized on many. Picked up along the boards by Healy. The Ice Hogs gain possession. Rockford's got the puck inside the defensive zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Take this draw. Oh, and the buzzer, a big save. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. This was the response I think a lot of people have been waiting to see from this squad tonight. They're still down here, Cheryl, but they're back in the fight. Well, they are back in the fight, and they're punching and kicking their way back in, aren't they? And listen, when you have a two-game deficit, it just wasn't as if they were playing their kind of game, and it's almost as if the nerves have settled in. It's kind of, listen, they've got nothing to lose here, so they're clawing their way in from behind, and this is a very dangerous spot if they can get back to equal. Well, the game might be done, but these playoffs are far from over. We've got more playoff intensity just around the corner. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Good night, and we'll see you next time.